Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Please live long and prosper. Come on, raise your hands, everybody. I don't see everybody. Claudia, come on. The funny backpack. Please. The other day I received this email. Uh, district personnel and students are encouraged to wear orange on Wednesday. I wear orange, okay? But I cannot show you. To show that we are against bullying and united for kindness. Daniela? Daniela? Where's Daniela? Daniela? Ralph, you gotta go? Ralph, the paper I gave you. The paper I gave you. I lost it. You lost it. You should go now to the auditorium, okay? Daniela? I don't know. Oh, you don't think so? I no. Think I what, what's the auditor? Yeah. Yeah, Uncle's no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, I don't think that. I don't see you wearing orange. No. Nobody here? I'm not allowed. Okay, National Bullying Prevent Prevention Month. What's, what's bullying? What do you think is bullying? <laughs> bullying. Yeah. I don't know if I've heard of it. Where I come from, bullying is not a thing. There are several bullies in this classroom. Yeah. Who? I don't think he's bullying. It, it depends. Morning. We're going. It's not just making fun. Morning. I had just this uh, boys call me Matutano because I eat potatoes called Matutano in Spain, but they, they didn't try to make to bully me. They, they're just making fun. The difference, what? No, I'm saying that they did it for fun. They 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 didn't think they were bullying me. They were just having fun. Sometimes people doesn't know how to establish relationships with with another people and they only know to, to make joke to just to say hello you can say hello how are you they make fun hey matutano how are you and they were that was their way to be kind to me but they didn't know it uh, bothered me a lot because i didn't like to be called like that so if you think somebody's bullying you just tell him because if he really is trying to bully you uh, bullies are not very brave. They used to uh, take her head down, say, "Oh, I was bullying you. It was just a joke." That's the thing I heard from bullies. Oh, it's just a joke. I don't like jokes. <laughs> when you stand up and say, "Hey, you're bullying me," no, it's just a joke. I don't like jokes. That's all. I I need it to to get her down. If not, go talk to me. You can talk to me. He's bullying me. I've done this like uh, like a thousand times before. That going to that boy and saying, "Are you saying this to this uh, boy? Why?" And they go like, "Oh, I felt bad. I was just joking." And they give up on doing it. If they keep on doing it, I go take my phone out. I did that in Spain and call the. Uh, 091, that's the police number. And show them that I'm calling the police. Why? Because you're you're against the law, you cannot say this to people and I'm gonna sue you. What? And they go crying to their parents just like, oh, he's trying. And the parents call me and say, what? No, I'm gonna sue your boy because he's bullying. I don't mind the school rules. I don't mind the school rules. This has and has to be with the school. He's mistreating people, and I'm not gonna allow that. That's what? 
Yes, it can sell out. You cannot, you, you cannot uh, imagine I go by the street just talking and somebody tells you, you're a war, you're a hassle. Hey, what? I call the police. That's easy. And then I tell you, you try to do it, I'm gonna, and they go like, ooh, because you're brave, you don't have to be afraid of anything. And as long as I don't have uh, no fear, because I have been like, what? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. I cannot. No, I can. I can. Sure, I can. But no, no. You, you know, I don't have freedom of peace. If that's that's an excuse to say anything to anybody, no, that's not. A, we we go. I say we go to the judge and they let him decide if it's uh, if it's against the First Amendment. You have free of a speech? No, you don't have. You have free of a speech to say two things that are kind. If they're not true and they're not kind, why why do you say? And I am free to sue you if you insult me. I'm free. I let the church the judge uh, decide if it's or not. But that word like I'm gonna sue you is like a, it's like a magic for these people because they are not brave at all. They are not brave at all, and they go, oh, I didn't say anything, I was just joking. Yeah, 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 you're joking. Nobody has the right to tell you anything that you won't, you don't want to hear. Anybody uh, can tell anything? No. I, I'm not okay with that. Okay. But the thing is that if you're going to say something, think first is you're going to be kind. If it's not kind, don't say it, because it's, it has no use. I don't think there is no use. And you don't know what that boy or girl is coming, is, is happening in his life. So I have this friend of mine, a teacher whose father was dying of Alzheimer. Do you know Alzheimer? Do you know Alzheimer? So his parent, I, I, I went to go see him, and he didn't remember his face. And every day, some pupils of him, were like bullying him, like saying, making his life like impossible because he couldn't. I cried to me, I can't do anything with these pupils. I can't tell you my father has Alzheimer and I'm having the, the rough time of my life and they keep on telling me things and I don't know what to do. So you don't know if my father is now dying in a bed, uh, suffering from Alzheimer, he doesn't remember my face. You don't know, so be kind. You don't know if uh, Fernando is having, a, I, I don't know, it's, I'm just guessing or thinking about something bad. But my mother is dying of cancer, and you don't know. You don't know. So you don't know, be kind. Because that person may be in his, uh, having the hardest time of their life, and you've been a, a, a something worse from him for him. So don't, don't be, be kind. Just say, hey, how are you? Even if they're bullying you. Another thing for bullies is be kind to them. Oh, you call me that? Why do you call me that? And ask for explanations. When I was fat, they told me, hey, you are fat. Why do you say I am fat? Do you think 80 kilos, uh, how do I say, 100 kilos is fat? And why do you think about it? Can you help me to be uh, healthier? What can I do to be healthier? And I ask, and I ask, and they give up on calling me fat or whatever they call me. You're ugly. Why do you think you're ugly? You're paying me attention. Thank you very much. They don't like it. Bullies don't like it. But please, be kind. Be kind. Because everybody here is fighting a battle that you're not going to say to me anything about it. But I know. Look, it's okay. I was fat too. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. And how did you lose the weight? How did you lose? How did you lose your weight? No. Uh, and it's funny. It's funny to show that I was like that. Now I'm like that, like this. I'm not happy about it. Run, run, just run, and be happy, and give up smoking. Like, like a packet a day, 20 cigarettes a day, yeah. And one day you decide that that's not your thing and that's all you got to do. 
And looking it for another point of view, maybe if you uh, uh, say something kind to somebody anytime, hey, you're, I like your T-shirt. The other day I was with my Iron Man T-shirt. I was uh, with my dog and one man looked at me and said, hey, I love your T-shirt and that made my day. I was happy about it. I came home and it was with, with a smile in my face and my girlfriend told me, what are you laughing about? Smile in your face, I'm happy. He told me he liked my t-shirt. That makes a day, so be kind. Because you don't know if I was like, have problems here, you know, you, you can't home. And somebody tells you anything, anything. Hey, I like your hair today. Hey, good haircut, anything. So be kind.